Hello and welcome to Cyber Potato. And today we're gonna make our login form beautiful. Okay, so in the last episode, we finished with the authentication and we split our login page into columns. Now let's make it look good. So I will start, I think, by changing our mm, our font because by default it's this thing provided by um, by create react app I think and I will change it to something else so I could go to Google fonts and I can search for lato okay and I want it so here it is, uh, and how do we actually do it is, as far as I remember, um, yeah, in start components we can uh, now do something called global styles, so style components, global, and here it is what it is yeah create global create global um, where can we find it create global yeah and here we can create global styles uh, for example provide the global font so let's just do that I'm also going to change this to something else, something, oh, that is good, that is good, yeah, okay. Now, I think it would be a little bit better. So, we can go to index.tsx TSX, and do global styles, it's going to be create global style and this is from site component of course and I'm gonna do something like body import uh, and this is gonna be that one okay all right and let's set this everywhere so this is going to be working with Lato and Sans Serif, okay? And we have, of course, to apply it. Uh, and we can do this here. And here we will add fragment. And I can just do global global style global styles. That's more like it. Yeah. And is this enough? Mm. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Okay, so something is overriding it. So let's just find and remove this. Okay, it's index CSS and we can just get rid of that. Okay, and now we can see, yeah, the font family is Lato. Lato, Lato, I don't know. Okay, so this is out of the way and it's the best way to create the global styles in site components. Moving on, uh, let's go to our auth components 
because we should start typing stuff. So basically, uh, we will have three parts in our login form. The header, the main form, and the footer. Okay, so let's prepare to do that. Um, okay, so let's start by doing the containers. So this is gonna be main layout. Okay, these are containers. And for now, we'll just say that we need top container that is a style div okay and uh, we will have a bottom container a side div okay uh, and it should be a const of course uh, we have our form we don't need that we don't need that we need form container okay so this is gonna be our middle container form container and it will be also start leave form form okay and let's just use those so going to the login page we have our form um we have form wrapper. I think this is correct. Let me check this real quick. We have form wrapper. Okay, yeah. So let's add top container. Let's add. Uh, what is it called? Form container that is wrapping our. Uh, no, no, it should be form container okay um but not like this just like this and this and then we have bottom container let's just say this Footer, and let's just uh, add here this is header okay all right all right all right okay and now we should see that this is nicely split into one two three elements so this is good this is all right okay let's start with the header uh, we will use something like top sentence here not yet implemented by us and i would like oh um, but why uh, I would like um, these three uh, components, the header, the main content, and the footer to be separated visually. So I'm going to build a separator component. Not yet implemented still. Okay, so top container. Okay, and here we can write top sentence I believe it is um, okay and it goes like this it's gonna be sentence styled paragraph with um, padding of 16 pixels and 42 pixels uh, text align is going to be center and font style font style is going to be italic okay uh, and let's write the separator 
and nothing new here it's gonna be separate okay and it's gonna be set horizontal line uh, with uh, height 3 pixels and background color of hash f six seven one eight seven and we have to uh, reimport those this here and this here okay compile please thank you okay nice this is nice okay i will of course uh, change it uh, a little bit so my uh, top sentence is gonna be it's gonna be something nicer like um something more matching the theme or our application share share your ideas get instant feedback and let's do uh, let's do bold have fun okay this looks correct to me let's now work on the footer okay so um, we'll start by adding the separator here separator okay uh, and then we will need it will need actually uh, something like a footer paragraph or footer sentence i don't know um, and okay uh, we will have this actually moved here and this is going to be wrapper in the footer paragraph okay that doesn't exist yet but we'll make it work so footer paragraph and this side thing okay and this is text align center font weight you can do 5000 font size we can do 18 pixels and i would also like to style the the link component that is inside uh, and i know that the link component is basically the a the good old a a element so I can do color of f6 well it's basically the same so let's just start here right now and I believe this is pink I don't know uh, let's not export it let's say uh, in color okay uh, and here I can just say I can just say can I pink color here and here I font weight is gonna be bold and text decoration is gonna be map okay oh and we need to of course reimport this come on uh, what, 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 what is it what do you want this okay okay let me import that one 
Okay. Nice, but is there a space there? Uh, yeah, there is. Okay. So this is all looking nice. Uh, let's style the out form now. Let's start with the out form itself. No, let's start with something else. Let's start with input because now they're just good old standard lazy inputs that we have from our browser. So let's do export cause inputs gonna be styled input this is that and we have to get rid of the border and add border only on button to x solid and color is the pink color okay padding of four pixels mm, four pixels and mean width of that and font size of 20 pixels okay and we can use it mm. <laughs> here and here the same good old input so basically um, the attributes that we are passing here are still available to us okay input is not defined Let's give you a chance to auto import that and okay, a little bit better. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, what can we do here is we'll add a margin, okay? So let's add a margin here, margin APX. Zero. Okay, a little better. Mm, what else? I would like. I would like. I would like the first input to have to be bold, actually. So the style components are basically the the good old classes uh, the good old css that we know so i can use all the tricks i know from scss for example for example um styling one component that is uh, set in another so if i have input in out form okay i would like the first of type uh, okay to have font weight weight bold I'm not sure whether this works like this um, I don't think so because this is bold and Oh, this is not actually. Okay, it just looks like it is. Okay, so this is this is fine. Uh, I can check whether this works because I can mm, say something. I would like the last input. So this is nth nth last of type. Uh, to have margin top of two. No, no, no. Uh, this is just last of type. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually. Actually, no, I don't want that. But yeah, we can use first of type and last of type and any other 
pseudo selector mm, that you know from CSS. Okay, but uh, I don't want this right now. This is fine by me. Let's just add mm, form button to change our default button, and this is going to be export cause form button style button. And let's do font size. Oh, size is going to be 1.2 em. Why am I using em here? And I am using uh, pixels for font size above. To be honest, don't care. Doesn't matter. Uh, if I would be to work on a professional application, I would get the uh, information about the sizes from my designer since I don't have one currently and I'm not the best with designs I'm just working my way as I see fit okay let's add the background color to be f6 oh, well basically it's the same in color this is good border is going to be none border radius i believe this is that uh, padding is this and this uh, color is white i have min width set for this on site and margin top and let's just use this so we change this to form button okay that's this okay this is this is nice this is actually pretty big and it does it look big to you maybe a little bit let's let's fix that real quick oh it does because they scale it no i didn't just fix this uh, let's go with 24 okay 24 is good uh, oh why oh why did i do that no idea okay yeah now now it looks fine okay and uh, the last thing I would like to do is to style that one. Okay. So, 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 so. Yeah, we'll do. First thing first, we will use icons. Yeah, we will use icons, uh, material icons to be. Uh, to be precise, uh, material icons. Okay, these are the icons provided by Google. They are kind of cool, certainly. Uh, how to add them? Mm, you just go to Google GitHub IO material design icons, and here you will find the option to install it as a package okay we could do that um material icons one material icons react is that it material design icons sorry material design icons apm Okay. Um, but eh, not really interested. We do that easier. Now let's just copy that link. Okay. We will open public index.html. You shouldn't really modify this file, but we will just to add the icons. Let's add it here in the head. And now we 
you can use it like this um, <laughs> like what do you do this oh yeah uh, you there's a special tag for our for icons in HTML5 it's called I okay uh, then I will provide a class name here and it always has to be material icons and then you provide the name of the icon. I would like to use error icon. Okay, and this should, yeah, it's, it gives us an icon, but we have to style it a little bit. So let's go here and we will go with that. So this is gonna be error paragraph okay and it's gonna be style p it's gonna have two things font size is bold font style is italic mean width is gonna be this display is gonna be flex justify Justify content with space around, and of course, since that's an error, I would like my icon to be red, and I can do just that. And of course, we have to use it um, here. Error uh, paragraph. Okay. And let's just see about that. Okay, this looks fine to me. This is nice. Okay, that's not over yet when it comes to styling, but I believe this is long enough for that. So I will see you in the next one. Cheers.